Hey everyone! In today's video, I am going to show you how you can quickly create custom columns, attach those custom settings to your tool sets, and then export to Excel. Why would you want to export to Excel? Well, if somebody's looking to just have uh, square footage information or cost per square footage and they just want something simple and laid out on a spreadsheet for them, um, this is the way to go. That way it makes it easy for you to share the information that you've been working on. The first step to create your custom column is you're going to click on this markup list drop down here. You're going to go to columns and then manage columns. From there, we're going to click on custom columns and you'll see here I already have a few uh, created. Normally you would click add to create a new one, but I've already created one just to make it quick and you can see what it would look like um, and that's flooring type which is what I'm going to use as an example in this video. So when you create add, everything you see here is going to be blank. I've already got it filled out, so you, you get to see what it looks like. The first thing it's going to ask for is, floor, is the name, which I've entered floor type. Um, the type of column, I hit choice, but you're gonna have all these options once you're in there if you are creating a new one. In this case, we're gonna use choice as an example. I added three items. I added carpet, tile, and hardwood. So when you click add, this is what you see. I added the item name as carpet, and then you can check mark to have um, a numeric value assigned. In this case, I put $2.45. Um, again, this is just an example. You can use whatever you need to on your end. Once that is done and everything looks okay, you're gonna click okay, and then okay again. So what this does is, now if I uh, click on one of my flooring takeoffs here, I just have those three that I have, um, that I just added, tile, carpet, and hardwood. So let's start with carpet. Let's say I want to add carpet here. When we go into the properties of that markup, you're gonna see that flooring type column that I just created um, show up under the custom field. You can click that and just make sure it's on the right selection. In this case it is, it's under carpet. And then when we go down to the markup list, it should have all that information as well. So we have the subject, the author is me, today's date, the label I created for that carpet, which is CP1, um, flooring type carpet, and then the cost. Just add a little bit more in here. We'll go ahead and do tile. I'm just gonna quickly just randomly add these just so we can get some stuff in the markup list. We'll do hardwood here. Okay, so now to export to Excel. To do that, we would click here under summary, and then we're gonna select CSV summary. This dialog box will appear. Uh, you're gonna have the options for what you wanna include. In this case, I wanna include markups and totals. And then I'm going to hit OK. Once that's completed, you're going to see everything generated from our markup list onto the sheet, um, including the cost. It looks like it's separated um, the carpet, hardwood, uh, and tile. Uh, you do have the option to add each flooring type on different pages if you have a lot. In this case, I only have a few here, so I have it all on one page. Um, depending on the formulas in Excel, you could adjust it to create the totals. It doesn't look like I have it set up yet on my end, but this is definitely something you can do. And then send it off to your client or whoever else needs it. And that's how quick and easy you can create custom columns, add the markups you need to add, and then export to Excel. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at 480-559-8670 or email us at obc at uscad.com. Thank you.